Hi, it's Sally from Field to Fork here. Welcome to the first part of the cereal story. Growing cereals is the main farming activity here at the Hursa. And by cereals, farmers mean grains. And they begin their journey on a crop growing or arable farm. The main grains grown in the UK are wheat, barley, and oats. And all three are grown here at the Hursal, with wheat being the greatest quantity, followed by barley, then oats. These crops can be planted in the autumn or in the spring for harvest the following July through to September. Many of the foods that we eat contain these grains, not just our breakfast cereals. The cereal story begins with a ploughed field, which is all lumpy and rough, being cultivated to break down the soil to give a fine tilt. down so that they're small and fine and the seeds once they are put in will be able to come in contact with them. This also allows the water and the air to pass through freely. To grow strong and healthy crops that will give a high yield it's important that the soil is healthy and so the farmer has to know what the state of his soil is. And nowadays they test the soil and know exactly what nutrients it has and which ones it's deficient of. of the bag to allow the seeds to come down into the hopper. Jamie, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, how this machine works, how your drill works? Yeah, um, so this is, well, it's a batter stand, rapid, uh, six meter. Um, starting here. Um, tractors coupled up here. These these tires are for um, consolidating the ground in between the the tractor tires. Um, moving back to here, these these are uh, for eradicating the the tractor the tractor mark so that you're you've not got any any hard bit where the seed needs to be and then you've got two rows of cultivation discs so they're they're cutting both directions to create a nice nice bit of fine ground for the seed to go into and then back here um, is a, a leveling board for any uneven bits of ground uh, just to, to fill in any holes so that it's nice and even and level for the seed and as you were um, showing before, seed goes into the hopper and then it's it's metered out down the bottom. And this fan here blows blows the seed up into a distributing distribution head up on top of the hopper there and blows it down these these pipes. So they come down and at the bottom of the pipes there's a, a disc with a, a boot on the side of it that cuts a, 
a slot for the seed to go into and then moving to the back the tires at the back just consolidate the ground after the seed and then the harrow at the back just covers over anything that's left on top so what you want is all your seed covered close up of the, the metering, metering unit in here so this is what we're on about when we were saying this bar along here turns and meters it down into this this pipe which blows it up into the the cyclone at the top and then it, it comes down those pipes to the to the cooters that's a marker going out there so we can tell on the next run up the field where his tractor tyre needs to run The seed drill is linked to the tractor's onboard computer which allows Jamie to control and monitor the rate of seed, the depth that he's sowing it at and so know exactly what's going on with the seed drill. So here we are in a field of winter cereals. That means a crop that's sown in the autumn to be in the ground through the winter and spring and harvested next summer. This is winter wheat, so it gets sown in September, which is now about eight weeks ago and so it has already germinated. That's because the soil was warm enough from the summer sun and we've had rain since then, so it has begun to grow. So let's have a look at how it's doing. Can you see what's left of the seed here? It's an empty shell because the food store it contained has been used up to get the seed growing first of all. Once the roots have formed, they will reach down into the soil and soak up the moisture and the nutrients that will help the plant to grow. The shoot, meanwhile, is growing up towards the light to soak up the light and make energy for the plant. To continue growing, the crop, such as this winter wheat, needs temperatures above 5 degrees centigrade and moisture. Now at the end of May, the crop sown in the autumn, which might not have grown much over the winter months, have grown away in the spring as the temperatures warmed up. And so we'll be ready for harvesting earlier than those sown in the springtime. This helps to spread the harvest over several weeks. Cereals as they grow are green and look a lot like grass, only turning golden once the seed is set and the plant is dying. What fields of cereals can you spot growing around where you are? You might also like to take a look at the Field to Fork website where there are activities to do to learn more about cereals, how they're grown and what they're used for in the activities and resources section there.